Hello and welcome crystal souls on this new picky guide. Today we're going to talk about the one who desires you and wants you. So I invite you to think of a person if you don't have anybody in mind, just trust your intuition. So today we have three pals available. We have pile number one, pile number two and pile number three. Take your time, you can meditate on the cards and then when you are ready, you can find a timestamps on the video directly or down below in the description. And by the way, if you guys want a personal reading with me, you have everything linked down below and that is for a lower price. So enjoy. <laughs> so let's now breathe in together and relax. So breathe in, hold your breath and breathe out, relax. And choose the pal or the pals calling you. So pal number one, let's start and see who wants you and what they want with you. So what I'm getting with the three of cups, this could be rather a friend or somebody around you in your circle. If not, this can be announcing you attracting someone in your soul family. Because for me, the three of cups is a card that I see for soulmates or counterparts coming together or even twin flame. So this, in my opinion, shows that you are attracting someone special for you and someone special for your soul. And this is why you can see that sense of celebration fun with the card you can see the water splitting <laughs> so it's kind of like this share our uh, sharing energy like I want to give I want to connect with you I want to have fun and what I'm getting as well is that growth will be what you experience in that beautiful connection and relationship and can you see the chains at the bottom which shows again that sense of connection. And number three talks about growth itself. So you can indeed expect to grow with this beautiful person. And you can see with the star card that this is written in the stars. You guys are indeed meant to be together. This is why I was sensing from the start that this could be a soulmate or somebody that you have a strong bond or attraction towards. And they feel the same. They feel something is deep, profound, and they don't really know what's happening, but they feel a connection with you. And that is a connection they never really felt with anybody before. All right. So the star for me is showing that aspect of everything you wish to experience with this person is going to be fulfilled or something bigger than you can not even process as a human being is planned. And so now the universe, your spirit guides and destiny is playing a role in this manifestation and this connection with this person. So of course they want you, but it's on a soul level. They feel a connection with you. They feel something special with you. What I'm getting as a person is someone very fun, bubbly, very social, they love to have people around, or they're just shining so bright and so people, people tend to be attracted by this person's aura, personality and energy. And you may feel the same around the person too. As for the star, I see popularity. I see someone who is very talented, skilled and beautiful. So attractive. They're shining so bright. And it doesn't have to be physical. It can just be their energy, uh, the way they dress, or this could be the way they talk, the way their energy is conveying energies or messages um, and i'm sure you feel attracted by this person because you tend to see yourself in them this is kind of like this mirrored light and this is why when you guys are together it feels like your own inner light expands and become a lot more powerful so i do see the two of you balancing each other out and that is very good because you can be attracting this person for divine reason and they're meant to be bringing balance or support for you guys to level up and to grow which is what we saw with the three of cups so in my opinion you're attracting somebody that you target or if you have nobody in mind that is somebody who is going to really move you in many many ways and you're going to feel this attraction towards them because you can relate to their energy their future their mindset and i see you guided towards this person too so if you see a lot of signs a name everywhere a place calling you a number repeatedly could be three um, I don't remember the star's number, but anyway, so it could be three. We can see more of them perhaps later. So let's see now a couple cards and get more glimpses of what is happening. Who wants you at the moment? This one's calling me. Yeah, they do want you <laughs> indeed. I uh, not just want you, you know, just today. They want something deep. They want something a bit more 
intimate we have lost. So they might be fantasizing about you or picturing that type of moment with you, I'm not gonna lie. And I have a bit more of spicy hints after coming up. So lost, let's see these two. Exploring and again skin to skin. All right, and I swear in this deck and this is one I designed by the way If you guys are interested, this is linked down below But in this deck the two spicy cards are these they are no more so you guys got it all Okay, that means they indeed want you desire you and you can see they want something physical with you, too not just because you look beautiful and they just want that. No, they see and feel a deep connection with you. And I'm sure you may feel like you guys are best friends or you guys are just very compatible in the essence. And this is why you might and they will as well dream about this moment of intimacy together. Fly just passed by. This freaked me out. Anyways, uh, so lust and skin to skin. And of course, this could be, you know, since we can see the floor, we can see the bathroom, just saying. And we have a car here, so it could be relevant as well as their own fantasies or future scenes together. And when when I see exploring, I see you guys traveling a lot, um, getting to know each other, taking the time, dating and really exploring the depth of each other and of course each other's soul. Because we talked about a soul bond and soul connection here. So the attraction is crazy. You can tell this person indeed desires you and wants to be spending time with you physically and wants the two of you to have fun and explore and of course enjoy the time that you share together let's see now more about their personality so they are a good listener and they would love to actually exchange with you get to know you and we could sense that you know that friendly vibe someone exploring the depth of your soul and someone could be a bit intimidating or they can be feeling this way towards you but i think that's more of the masculine essence and energy that could be quite intimidating and this could be because you tend to put that person on a pedestal or feel that this person is very very attractive and charismatic so this can be a bit intimidating but as soon as you guys just exchange and get to know each other you're going to feel that sense of connection home and comfort so i'm not saying this as like oh like that person is too much or i cannot i cannot just you know feel comfortable around them you will it's just in the beginning and possibly because there's a lot of attraction physically too this could be how you guys feel or especially how the women or feminine essence and energy will be feeling so let's see more couple cards <laughs> i swear to god it's i mean i i picked this this topic for a reason because i wanted to know who wants you and that is showing up clearly for you guys okay i mean skin to skin lust wildest fantasies <laughs> and you're all mine and so yeah this person wants to be with you okay this person wants to actually just make that relationship work and make sure that the two of you stick together okay so they are indeed picturing wildest fantasies with you they want the two of you to connect and be together so you're all mine and they might have that you know not i'm not wanting to say jealousy but sometimes it can be like a bit overprotective or very protective with you as like she is mine or he is mine and i don't want to share you know that is that is the type of attitude and uh personality i'm getting Ooh, maybe that's because there is competition you know what maybe the three of cups is talking about three people involved so maybe a love triangle i don't know but this could be why there is confrontation and why one of you guys will have to win or like one of the two conquerors if you do have options uh, they will have to prove their worth so you can be choosing them but one of them is a bit more involved as you can tell and um, maybe the other one is more interested about your body but you don't feel a connection with them but like i said there is a soul bond and connection and trust me when you meet a soulmate or somebody in your soul family you, you just feel there's something deep out there, okay? So you're going to know if that is worth investing in super, superiority. So I'll take the one faced up. So maybe that is a sign that one of 
them that feels maybe superior or you tend to kind of perceive them this way as like they have a lot of things to teach me or they're better or they do something that I value and respect. So this could be the feeling with superiority, of course, all right? Um, and or that can be connected to the fact that this person could be your boss or could be, I don't know, a teacher, you know, someone that is providing to you or that could be connected to you in that, you know, superior. That's what I'm getting as well. But I do see a strong, um, like a strong-minded person, someone who understands their worth. I'm not saying superiority is like I'm better than you because it's not the case. It's more like I have a lot of things to provide to you and inspire you with, but it's up to you to welcome that or not. You see, it's a lot more healthy. <laughs> so let's continue. I'm going to pick the crit so we can see the zodiac sign of your person. But so far we have Aquarius and water sign. Let's see. Any other sign? I'm going to turn this way. All right, so we have Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, could be seasons too, okay? Um, Taurus and Gemini. So these are the signs. Let me continue with the spiciness. So in type of kings, for example, places, are parts of your body, you know. So let's see, what is their fantasies? So we have park, nature and ears. These are the hints, let me continue with the letters and words. So here you can see perhaps a name, a place, or maybe a sentence, something like this. More hints for group number one. And we have Cancer and Aquarius again. So we have Gentle, No Time, Help, Reach. I just think it's like, I have no time to waste. I want to reach out to you and spend time with you. Like you, reach, or gentle. I just think even though we saw a lot of passion and someone a bit intimidating, they're going to be very gentle with you. So don't don't be too scared about their character in the beginning because I just think it's just their facade. But when you get to know them, yes, you're going to feel different about them. So these are the hints. And for the numbers, 111 could be a number that you see. This in French means uh, laughing. So it could be that you guys will have a lot of good time, laughter together and just feeling comfortable indeed is what I can get. So let's see some stickers for this group. So again, with the clever, I think of friendship. <laughs> so that is connected. We have surrender. Don't be afraid of the waves. One day, you will meet a big wave in your life. Overcome the waves and sell. That is such a good advice. You know, it feels so impressive, like this big wave coming, but, you know, you can surf it, you know? So then we have a fun time together. We have brave. We have why. I think if you have options, one of them is going to be very distant, not really, you know, in and out all the time. So not really engaged with you or just not really honest. I see going for a meal together with this one. Sorry, my camera is just acting crazy. Maybe a computer or internet connection or you guys can be talking on the web at the moment. We have emotionally unavailable. So if that's your case, that is something to address. We have, again, the telephone. Stay away from people, yes. <laughs> Stay away from people that make, that that leave you feeling like what's happening. Like I said, one of them could be that way. And if so, let them go. Someone invested, interested, they will show it, okay? Life is good. And here I see the cores. So maybe that is something they like. And with this one, I see that they might be reaching out to you because they see you shining. And this is kind of like they honor and welcome and want kind of to possess this beautiful energy. And we have this feminine energy with the moon here. So this is a reading. Make sure to claim down below this beautiful energy. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, of course. If you want some personal guidance, everything is linked down below. So check it out. And I will see you guys next time. Check my other readings while you wait for me. 
and take care of you. Pile number two lets you want you and what they want with you. So first, know that you're attracting everything you desire in somebody. We have the seven of cups and this card is about wishes coming true, your vision, even that vision board that you have, or just what you want is currently manifesting. Can you see that? We have the ten of pentacles, so you are eating the jackpot. You're really attracting somebody that you value, someone you see a future with. And you can see yourself building with this person. Even the house itself is a sign of building or home. So you can be moving in with this person too. Or this could be what they want with you. So what I see is that they picture a future with you. They want to be transforming with you. Want to fly, explore, travel, grow in a sand. And with the serpent, I see fertility. So they can be wanting to have a family with you. And actually the Ten of, the ten of Pentacles is a card that we see for family building and feeling at home with somebody so again i do see that you might be perceiving yourself building something with rather it's about committing to each other fiance marriage having kids having a house having a business together maybe because we have pentacles energy it could be all right but i see that the two of you will want a lot more from the person because you can see this person as a healer in your life and i'm saying that because you can see that pedestal underneath the elephant the elephant is a symbol of fortune prosperity and wisdom so in my opinion you can be attracting the rich man the rich girl someone who's very good with business or attracting money they're very good at growing becoming more mature and this is what is building their wisdom and themselves. This is why you can perceive this person on a pedestal. As like, oh, this person is important. This person is, be is better than other people. So yes, you do kind of push them up and perceive themselves in a very beautiful and respectful lens. And that is good because that approves what we talked about, the fact that you will see in them everything you desire. All the qualities, all the values, all the things that you find attractive physically, mentally, spiritually, everything. You'll be like, wow, this person is special. And I'm sure if you have somebody in mind, you know this person is special for you. And you can see indeed a future with them. And like I said, I see commitment, growth, and I see building together. So that ha this has to be something you can picture happening with the person. If not, then you can be redirected towards actually the one that fits your perspective and that fits the love that you want to be experiencing, just so you know. So let's see. And numbers you can see can be number 10 and 7 a lot. So 7 is a sign for luck, as you may know. Number 10 talks about completion and wholeness. So this is going to be the feeling, of course, when you meet this person. Because I see a circle, this person can be in your circle or this person can offer you protection. And this can be feeling safe materially because we talked about money and we have the coins, of course. So yes, <laughs> and even that golden pedestal. So they do have enough to give to you. So let's continue with a couple cards. This person daydreams about you. Isn't that beautiful? Like they can indeed picture themselves spending time with you and they just want that. Even around their friends, they may just get lost in thoughts and just picture in their minds um, something happening with you or just the time that you spent together in the past. So it's going to be hard for them to focus when they have met you because they can feel a deep attraction towards you. And these could be things they want to be with you. So we have a spa day, could be going for a meal as well because we have the restaurant on this card. Um, and we talked about business working together. Maybe that is what you guys do. Maybe this person is your boss or this person is working or is an inspiration for your own uh, career or path. But like I said, you can be wanting to have a spa day, relaxing time together, or this is the feeling when around your person or when around this person, if you haven't met this person, yet you will feel that sense of security peace and i want to take care of my, of my body of my body more i want to take care of myself more and this can be taking care of your mental too you know it can be just that awakening feeling as like oh i have been neglecting myself a little bit and i need to take care of me so i can become you know a lot more attractive 
to this person because like I said one of you is gonna put the other person on the pedestal but let me be honest I think that is from both sides <laughs> you guys just perceive each other as like a trophy and you tend to kind of lower yourself up as like I'm not good enough or oh I need to you know work on myself or I need to become better so I can be attracting this person but know that destiny is playing part in this connection so you can be indeed attracting a soulmate a twin flame someone that you feel there is something happening or there's something I know is connected to what I am meant to experience what I came here to experience on earth you can have a big mission together and I'm saying that because we talked about dreams vision all that you picture for the future aligning when you meet this person but of course with the 10 of pentacles we talked about business we talked about building the self so of course it could be related to the fact that the two of you will build something together because you have a common mission and by the way if you guys are interested about this deck the couple deck this is linked down below that's the one i created so let's see personality anything about this person's personality we have tactful and invested. All right. <laughs> so what I'm getting from these two is, and you could see investment. Maybe this is what they do. Maybe to make money. I don't know. But of course, in that relationship, you can expect somebody invested. I'm not seeing someone who is too young. I'm not going to lie because I can see a mature, wise, experienced person. And this is why they want, of course, commitment. They're not going to play around. They just want to commit with you and have that you know, spicy time, tactile time with you because they want somebody they can wake up to. Like I said, I see a dreamer here. So of course, they will only picture a future with somebody they can fully relate on a deeper level and you are this person. So that's why compatibility in that connection is primordial, first of all, to make that relationship last and to make the two of you really click. Because otherwise you may feel, oh, this is not the person or this is not really the connection because I'm not feeling much. And if somebody is in and out, not responding to you, not engaging with you, it's a no-no, okay? Because this person is invested. And if somebody is not invested, it shows. Attentions, actions, especially from men. Men are action-oriented beings or energies if as a girl you possess more of a masculine essence but i'm telling you actions show how people feel okay so if their actions is not really matching um like the future they want to be building or what they talk about is just yeah they're just trying to uh, just, yeah, just manipulate you a little bit, <laughs> a little bit, that's how it just, just run <laughs> when that's the case. But no, the right person will show up and adore you, as you can tell. So I adore you, made of stars. I can see indeed there is something related to your destiny and you two can be star seeds. You two possibly came here together to fulfill a certain destiny and prophecy. So we have made of stars and how are you happy with me? So they want the two of you to be happy. They do want the two of you to feel comfortable and to feel your very best around them. So of course, they're going to perceive and, and, connect, and connect with you on a deeper level. If you feel the same way, if you are happy or if something is, you know, in need of adjustment so the two of you can be fulfilled in that connection. And I'm sure you'll feel the same. You'll feel like I want to put the work in that connection. I want to be my best self around this person. And we talked about this, you know, wanting to level up, wanting to take care about you, maybe your appearance a bit more. And that is indeed what makes you a lot more attractive. So let's see, determination, <laughs> that is totally the character I could get. You know, you're attracting indeed someone who is determined. And if that is somebody you rejected in the past, they have not forgot you. Like they think about you all the time. They daydream about what could happen or what they can do as the next move to seduce you and, and show that they are indeed determined and they, they want to make it work. They just don't want to give up they don't want to be a loser <laughs> and <laughs> look at that this is again the exact same energy so fight for what you believe in if they believe in the two of you if they know there is a destiny 
and maybe you didn't feel it before and maybe now you know <laughs> so of course you're going to show that yes i'm determined and i know that this is what i want to fight for i know this is what i want to be experiencing so i am not going to give up and why giving up when you feel there is something deep out there and something i am meant to fulfill so like i said they're not going to quit it doesn't have to be you two not wanting each other in the beginning, but this could be the scenario for some of you. But if not, this could just be this person showing, like I said, with actions, I am determined to make that relationship work. I want to make yourself happy. I adore you. And I think we can make a beautiful love story. We can build that together. So let's continue with the grid. So far, we had water sign and earth signs with the pentacles but let's see the zodiac grid so we can see their zodiac sign all right so we have leo virgo cancer pisces sagittarius and libra we can see more of them later with the letters and words but let's see first their fantasies anything they think about Maybe they're daydreams, but a bit more spicy. So body parts, places. We'll see what comes out for you guys. Okay, so we have the bathroom. Hand, lick, living room, chest, kitchen. Lots of places. Nature, ears, elevator, and bedroom. And like I said, places. <laughs> so this could be what they will want to try with you. And indeed places, they may just picture the two of you having fun. So let's see letters and words. So here you can see a name, a place, initials, anything we need to know. Maybe a sentence. So play, funny, sassy. Taurus, music, I see AI, and all these letters. For the numbers, we have one. So maybe 111 is a sign that you see. 1111 can also be a sign that you see, which is also a sign connected to the people that are meant to be in our life or wishes coming true. But you're attracting someone playful, funny, sassy. They could love music. Mm, for the letters, I'm not getting much because this is very repeated. Unless that talks about that mirrored energy or repetitive things that you see. Or for example, you dream of something and then it manifests. That could be that, you know, manifestation, repetitive energy. So let's see the stickers. What can we get for group number two? Oh my god, so get ready to be surprised, okay? Um, I see somebody who is very cool, very fashionable. They could love things like soda, chips. I'm not saying they eat that all the time, but they will love some cheat days, let's say. We have an envelope, a message from my love. Fun fact, my t-shirt has an envelope printed on it, so it's, it's so connected. Uh, we have a lesson, going home. We talked about home a lot. Happy birthday to you and trust me. Isn't it beautiful? Like this energy is very welcoming, I can tell. And maybe visiting each other at their home and your place as well. But that's the reading, guys. I hope you liked it. If you do, make sure to put a thumbs up, claim this beautiful energy down below, subscribe if you're new. For personal guidance, everything is linked down below. Same for the cards, etc. So check it out. If you want, you can check my other readings while you wait for me and I'll see you guys next time. So group number three, let's see more hints about who wants you and what they want with you. So with this card, actually the two of wands is a card talking about long-term goals, success, the vision, the future pretty much. And all that they picture, this is what this card is telling me, all they picture is building a world with you. They want to find home with you. And we have the bees working together. So that sense of collaboration could be what you find when meeting this person. As like we click, we connect, we have something maybe, maybe very similar with what you guys do and work on. Could be a project, could be a hobby, could be you guys' personality working together. Um, and of course, that can be connected to the fact that you will indeed picture a future 
plan, project, or something to do together in the future. Like I said, that is a long-term relationship. I see the two of you building, and this is with somebody you see as the queen or as a king. That is someone who is mature, someone who has a lot of passion to give because we have fire energy. So what I see is possibly a creative person, someone who is very social, who loves to express themselves. They can have a very unique sense of fashion or sense of expression. For example, they can talk in a way that most people don't express themselves anymore. For example, a language that's very um, like seductive or poetic, or this could be an uh, old type of ways to express yourself, anything like that really it's just going to be something that is very original unique but also very charming okay that is possibly what makes you attracted by this person because something very original is coming from them i see the king wearing a bracelet could be something they wear of course but i see this as a sign the bracelet to me is a soul promise so in my opinion you're attracting somebody who is kind of like calling for you, hey, what's up? <laughs> calling for you because they know there is a soul promise and the bracelet kind of creates the infinite sign. This is, I'm not sure if the camera will show up um, the sign, but hopefully you can see the infinite showing up. But anyways, if you don't see it, trust me, <laughs> trust me it is showing up, but anyways. So I see a fiery person, social person, creative person, very beautiful too because we have the peacock at the top appearing on the crown and the peacock feathers to me are always a symbol of beauty and seduction. You know the peacocks, they open their feathers and try to seduce their partner. I think that's the, the key to show you I want you, to show you I am invested, I am interested. So this person is going to be very flirty and seductive. I'm sure they, they know how to play that seductive game with you because they will possibly analyze you, study you from the distance and plan on something and then will make a move that will work pretty, pretty well. With the ones, I see the two kind of like creating pillars or creating this mirrored or perfect geometry. And to me, that describes balance, structure, and again, that aspect, look at that. I'm sorry, look at this one seduction. Um, I told you, there is indeed seduction. So yes, indeed a structured, balanced relationship is what I see. And this is why this card, I mean, connects to future goals and something that will last. So seduction, we have unexpected meeting. Okay, so they will not just want to flirt with you, they want you to to build together. I mean, we talked about a long-term relationship, so yes, this could be part of what they see with you, what they desire with you. So they will make a move. <laughs> I mean, they want you, so it's hard for them just to sit there and look at you from a distance. They will indeed show, okay, I am invested, I am interested, and I will show with that seductive game that I want to be with you and want to build something with you. And you can see, you guys can actually marry each other in the end. So that is not somebody you're not going to feel safe with. You see indeed yourself a future with them. You connect with them on a deeper level. You can be meeting at places like a bar. Um, here I see a field, could be going in nature. And again, I see, for, for some reason, I think, of the um, you know the hotel room entrance with couches i don't know why but i had this this type of scenery popping to me uh so it could be but this can be a living room or just a place where you can just sit on a couch you know but yeah i had this picture for the hotel so perhaps it is significant for some of you and with the clock appearing on this one i see that this person will come when the time is right when you guys feel okay i'm ready I'm balanced and I am, I am in my king's essence or queen's essence. And so I embody a powerful, inspiring figure. And this is what attracts actually somebody who is going to be the same way. Fun fact, we talked about mirror. So you attract when you become the mirror of what you're looking for. If, for example, you want to attract the rich man or the rich girl or somebody who is very educated, who is knowledgeable, who is very fun to be around, 
All these qualities, ask yourself, do I possess them? Am I the person I am looking for? You don't have to be perfectly the same, okay? But you have to be in that same energy, embodiment and mindset. Because we tend to attract who we are. I'm sure you heard that before. So that's a sign for you to know that it will come unexpectedly when you are content on your own. When you can see yourself even building on your own. Like I'm not needy, but I know that I'm open to be with somebody who can seduce me, who can move me. And so I can then myself picture a future with them. And I can see them as wife material or husband material. I can see that this person can be exactly what I was looking for and exactly what I value. So let's see more about their traits and personality. But so far we saw somebody who is very talkative, express, expressive, uh, someone who is creative, social, Someone who is indeed determined to, because, I mean, when you build something that will last in time, it shows you need commitment. You need to stick to it, to work on this. So that is something you can also expect with that relationship. Someone... Oh, <laughs> I talked about this, remember? I talked about the fact that this person can observe you from the distance before starting to seduce you, because they want to have that impact. They want to make sure that you will say yes, okay? So at first, of course, they study. They don't go blindly into um, a connection or just, you know, they think about it before. So they will observe you and they might be very observant with uh, things that you love, things that you don't really appreciate, things that bothers you, everything. They will really memorize everything and really picture okay what type of person he or she is uh, how can i make this person feel comfortable so and we saw these aspects too someone educated someone who has been working on themselves and committing to their goals and projects and future and they want to share that peace they want to share that world they were building on their own this is kind of like two worlds merging together so one is the one that you create and the other planet is the the planet they bring to the table maybe because i see the planet earth in this one we have no idea who that i mean which one it is unless the deck says it um but i don't know but anyways, I see that one is more of this earth angel and the other one could be a cosmic being. Just saying, because this can be relevant for some of you, but I see collaboration coming together. Or because we can see one planet as just like one bee on top of it. This could be like one solo introverted being and the other one is going to be a lot more social. Or maybe this is what you came here to experience on Earth, the sense of collectiveness, socialness. So if you're someone like me, <laughs> this is going to be difficult. But anyways, um, maybe that's the duality, but same essence and energy because one of you is, is going to be good at working solo and the other is going to be possibly very good at working collectively or inspiring people collectively but some people working alone can have a big big impact collectively as well okay just saying because this could be important for some of you so someone educated and I do see you respecting this person because of this. You can see they have values, they have respect, they've been educated in a beautiful way. And so you can see yourself indeed marrying this person. This is not a clown. This is not somebody who's like, yeah, YOLO, you know, it's not the type of person. This person is serious in all aspects of their lives. And decisions too. So let's see more with couple cards to see you guys' love and future, what they want with you but i see attraction you know just building that seductive game or seductive energy are playing with you i work so hard to meet you i am telling you you guys will indeed work on yourself so much and this is what makes you attract actually the best person what is ideal for yourself and that is beautiful to see so i worked so hard to meet you of course, and you may feel the same. Like, I became so perfect. I became somebody I can respect. So I don't want to be dating somebody who is not themselves putting the work or doing the healing or, you know, just becoming a good person. <laughs> really, so you can see that. And sweet dreams. They might be contacting you 
um, at night or might be messaging you sweet dreams or things like that because I think this is showing up for a reason and you could see again sleeping together feeling peaceful together so this could be the feeling too when you meet this person you're going to have sweet dreams you're going to feel protected and safe and good and like something is lifted off your shoulder like the pressure or anxiety or fear all that you'll be like i said sleeping peacefully let's continue let's get more info about this person anything we need to know so one more perfect surprise <laughs> surprise surprise i mean we saw unexpected meeting so indeed i do see yourself being surprised because maybe at the time this person comes you won't be expecting much you won't be like okay i was not ready but here it is here it comes so surprise and landing safely so i would rather be at Hogwarts. <laughs> uh yeah what i see and that's the scene from the second harry potter when they land on the tree and get get knocked out so maybe that's about it you'll be knocked out by how attractive that person is but it's like oh i'm landing safely still because i feel a connection oh, oops i <laughs> just ate the microphone sorry about that um but yes you will be surprised and land safely <laughs> so don't be afraid maybe in the beginning this could be a bit shaky like or maybe your heart is going to beat so fast and you're going to feel intimidated maybe or like something i don't know maybe uncomfortable in the beginning but then you'll feel reassured okay so don't stress with that so let's see next the grid so we can see the zodiac sign so far we had fire energy for these two cards it could be a fire sign let's see we have the grid so we have cancer gemini taurus uh I was about to say Gemini again. <laughs> Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio, and Libra. Let's see now. Some spicy. So anything they they dream about, fantasize about, but in a more intimate way. So we can see body parts, places, etc. So we have bathroom, chest, hand, the living room, and lips. So it could be parts of you they like a lot and these type of places for the spicy. Let's see now there, uh, I mean, <laughs> let's see more hints <laughs> with letters and words. You can see a name, you can see a place, maybe a sentence. Anything we need to know for group number three. All right, so we have heart, shine, help, run. And I think this one is sun. A I A D. I heard date. I heard day as well. And for the signs, um, we have Virgo, Aries, and Virgo again. And go ahead, something and talk to you personally. Numbers you can see can be 111, 222. So 111 is announcing a new beginning. Number 2 is connected to togetherness and union. So let's see some stickers for you guys. I see the cosmos assisting you so far. So the universe is on your side with this connection. <laughs> you will be surprised you can see oh my god <laughs> uh, maybe a connection on instagram because we can see instagram on this one we have music someone in awe like oh <laughs> so in maybe you feel this way when you talk to this person or when this person compliments you we have don't worry here i can see a girl having a drink so you can go for a drink with this person or you maybe have the same preference for the drink. We have a message. If you take me lightly, you'll get hurt. I'm cute but fierce. <laughs> maybe this is what they like about you or what you like about them. And it's like, oh, you know, you're fierce but you're cute at the same time. 
and so the cosmos like i said you are assisted by the universe know that you're manifesting somebody special so this is a reading guys i hope you liked it if you do put a thumbs up claim this energy down below in the comment subscribe if you're new if you want some personal guidance or the cobble cards you can check it down below check my other readings appearing on the screen or on my channel because you have tons of them and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye